If you want something new to do over summer and or you're a fan of Star Wars, go and check out the Star Wars Card Trader app. I'll leave a link in the description below and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Grand Theft Auto Top 5 Special Vehicles seen throughout the series. I want to say a huge thank you to Zach Cox TV for helping me out with this episode. He's coming up to 100,000 subscribers tonight, so make sure you go and check him out and help him reach that goal. But coming in for number 5, let's get into the Space Docker found in Grand Theft Auto 5. The Space Docker was originally a secret vehicle which could only be found after collecting each spaceship part. Now this was a complete side quest of itself, but once you do complete the side quest, you get yourself your hands on the Space Docker. Number 4, the Purple Police Stinger. This vehicle is only found in the multiplayer of the Ballad of Gay Tony DLC we found in Grand Theft Auto 4. This vehicle is actually the fastest land vehicle ever found in the whole of the series. Touched up with the livery design as well as the amazing features this police cruiser serves, this exotic car lands its way into number 4 and it's definitely one of my favourites. Number 3, the Vortex in San Andreas. Otherwise known as the Split 6 from Vice City, the hovercraft type vehicle lands its way at number 3 in the special vehicle list upon the whole series for its ability to be able to travel on water as well as land. In addition, this also reaches some high speeds and you can do quite a lot of destruction with this hovercraft. One of the only vehicles with the ability to travel on water and land, this definitely earns its way into my list on the top 5 special vehicles across the whole series. The Split 6, otherwise known as the Vortex, can be found in a variety of different colours and paint jobs depending on whichever game you are on, and this concept design has been loved throughout the whole series since Vice City to San Andreas. Number 2, the Jetpack. Controversial for its name on whether it should be known as a vehicle or not, nonetheless you can still use this to travel to your whereabouts across the map whether you're in the air or on the land. The Jetpack has been the most controversial vehicle ever since the release of Grand Theft Auto V, with easter eggs in the latest edition hinting the return of the Jetpack in the latest era in San Andreas. But this vehicle is by far the favourite and top rated vehicle known in the whole of the series, and there's no doubt about it that the Jetpack has to come in at number 2. You can use this to travel long distance or short distance, there is no time limit on how long you can use this, and you can find yourself using the jetpack during one mission in San Andreas. Number 1 the Domestabot. The Domestabot is possibly a reference to movies found in the 1980s and 1990s serving a huge display of robots taking over the planet and just incorporating robots as a feature in their movies. Found in one of the Grand Theft Auto series, Rockstar appear to have incorporated this as some sort of easter egg taking the mickey out of any sort of robot production at the time of when this was incorporated into the game. But this robot will have a variety of features and you can use it to do many things such as grab, you can also brush, you can also light things, and many more. I'm not going to go into every detail this robot can do, but I'll leave your imagination to go wild and let you think about what this robot can do. But nonetheless, this very underrated yet special vehicle makes its way into number one of the top five special vehicles throughout the Grand Theft Auto series. I hope you do enjoy this episode. If you do, then be sure to hit that like button. In addition, I do recommend you subscribe to my channel so you'll never miss out on any more Grand Theft Auto 5 content just like this every single day. If you don't agree with this list, that's fine. Let me know in the comments section below what you would add in and what you would do differently in this list. And I want to see your thoughts and responses to what your top 5 special vehicles would be throughout the Grand Theft Auto series. But guys, I hope you did enjoy this quick blast from the past and let me know your thoughts in the comments. My name is Nort, and I'll catch you guys next time.